Schools grabbed Zorin OS 17 Education, thinking they had the complete package. Now version 18 just dropped. Is this upgrade actually worth the installation headache for an entire computer lab? Zorin OS 17 Education launched in March 2024 with the classics. Scratch for programming, GDevelop for game creation, Fritzing for electronics design, LibreOffice for documents. Teachers got Veon to monitor student screens remotely, plus Calibri for offline educational content. Built on Ubuntu 22.04 with Linux kernel 6.5, supported until June 2027. Version 18 arrived in October 2025 with four brand new apps. Gradebook lets students track grades across multiple courses. Speedread is a speed reading tool that flashes words rapidly to boost efficiency. Turbo Warp replaces standard Scratch with a compiler that runs projects up to 100 times faster. Plus, it includes dark mode. All the original education apps from version 17 are still here. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something about the foundation underneath. Version 18 runs on Ubuntu 24.04 with Linux kernel 6.14, bringing support for newer hardware like AMD Ryzen AI processors. It includes Pipewire audio instead of Pulse audio, meaning better sound quality and lower latency for multimedia projects. The desktop got redesigned with rounded corners, floating panels, and lighter colors. The window tiling system is where productivity actually jumps. Drag a window to the top of the screen and you get predefined layouts instantly. No memorizing keyboard shortcuts. Students working on research papers alongside spreadsheets can organize their workspace in seconds. The web apps tool is sneaky useful for schools. Turn any website into a desktop app with its own icon. Google Classroom becomes a standalone app. Canvas gets its own launcher. For schools already invested in cloud platforms, this bridges the gap. OneDrive integration landed in version 18. Students can access their cloud files directly from the file manager. No browser tabs, no constant logins. The support timeline extended. Version 17 gets updates until June 2027. Version 18 stretches to June 2029. For school IT departments planning multi-year deployments, that extra support matters. Reality check. If you're running Zorin OS 17 education right now and everything works, the upgrade isn't urgent. Your students can still code and learn just fine. The kernel updates only matter if you're buying new computers. However, if you're setting up a new computer lab or refreshing existing machines, version 18 makes more sense. You get the extended support timeline, better hardware compatibility, and the modern interface. Both versions remain completely free, no paywalls. Schools can deploy this across unlimited machines without licensing headaches. If this comparison helped you decide, perfect. I break down Linux distros and education tech to figure out what actually delivers value. Drop your school's tech setup in the comments. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. 
except instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.